Turkey's defense industry advancing towards self-sufficiency. In this video, we take a look at the progress being made in Turkey's defense industry with a focus on the increasing indigenous rate and the role of R&D and technology in achieving self-sufficiency. We also highlight some of the key projects and developments in the industry. Turkey's defense industry has made significant progress in increasing its indigenous rate, with more than 2,000 companies working on production and 750 projects currently being carried out. The president of Turkish Defense Industries emphasizes the importance of R&D and technology in achieving the vision of a 100% national defense industry. Unmanned systems will play a crucial role in the battlefield of the future. Turkey is working on a wide range of unmanned systems, including drones, unmanned sea, and land vehicles, and submarine vehicles. In 2022, Turkey will be testing these products in the field and incorporating them in exercises and operations. The National Combat Aircraft Project will be unveiled to the public soon. Turkish Aerospace Industries Incorporated TAI, plans to unveil the National Combat Aircraft Project and aims to enter the inventory of the Turkish Armed Forces by 2030 or sooner. Additionally, the Jet Training and Light Attack Aircraft Herjet will make its first flight on March 18th. The ZGR project will see the delivery of the first modernized F-16s in avionics. The original helicopter bay will be delivered to the Gendarme General Command. The Bayraktar TB3 UAV, which will be deployed on the Anatolian ship, will make its first flight. The Meltem 3 project will be completed with the delivery of the 6th and last P-72 Maritime Patrol aircraft. The Kilisat Cube satellite, which will provide location and route information of ships and will be used to produce the National LNA module in space, will be launched into space. The Amis Earth Observation Satellite will be launched into space in 2023. Air defense is a crucial issue for Turkey. In the past, studies were conducted on air defense in various countries and a layered air defense concept was developed. Several products have been commissioned to cover multiple layers, including Corkut, Sunger, Hisar A+, Hisar O+, and Cyper. With the successful testing of Cyper, the altitude and range figures have increased, creating capabilities that can address a wide range of threats. Tafun missile was heard in the public opinion, and that Tafun had a process in itself. Turkey planned to see various examples of the success shown in 2022 and 2023 with the Tafun missile. The Kaplan medium tank was delivered to Indonesia. Part of this tank, which is a joint project, will be produced in Turkey and some in Indonesia. Turkey have also taken into inventory armored combat vehicles, which have been modernized PARS 6x6 mine protection vehicles, which can be called the best in class in the world. Mass production has started on the KTJ-3200 turbojet engine, which will be used in SOM and Atmica missiles and will save Turkey from foreign dependency. Altai Tank and Armored Vehicles The Altai Main Battle Tank Project will see the release of two new tanks from the production line in May 2023. The tanks will be delivered to the TSK and the company that will make the power group for testing. After testing is completed, mass production with project partners will begin in 2025. In the land vehicle projects, the first delivery of the armored amphibious assault vehicle Zaha will be made. The first deliveries of the domestic motor Viren, 8x8 wheeled container carrier vehicles, and Amazon armored vehicles will also be made. <music> Turkey's defense industry is making great strides towards self-sufficiency with an emphasis on R&D and technology. From unmanned systems to advanced aircraft and tanks, the country is positioning itself to be a major player in the global defense market. With the release of the Altai tank in May 2023 and the launch of various satellites, Turkey's defense industry is set to continue its upward trajectory in the years to come.